All right, so in this video, what I'm gonna show you is this really powerful way that you can use SQL in Excel. That's right, you could use SQL statements in Excel to manipulate your data dynamically without ever having to do it manually. Hey guys, welcome to Code with Mark, where I share helpful videos to help you become a professional web developer a lot faster. If you are interested in learning how to become a professional web developer a lot faster and learn technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MongoDB, MySQL, and others that are gonna help you create amazing, awesome web development app, do consider subscribing to the channel. We have this particular data. So let's just say, hypothetically speaking, we want to get all of this data parsed by, let's just say, mail. So we have mail, so we got this, and then we want to take this data, we want to copy it, let's just say, however many rows there are, right? So all of this, copy this, create another sheet, paste it in here, and that's that. And the next level, what we want to do is go back here and then unfilter it. And then we want to filter for only US data. So it's going to copy all of this and then copy this and then create another sheet once again and then paste it in here and that's that. And that is a little ridiculous if you just want to do that particular activity. So instead of doing all of this, what I did was I'll show you a automatic way of doing it. So let me close this out, close this out. And then this particular button right here, so I'll unfilter all of that. All I'm gonna do is click this button and it's gonna automatically do the two steps that I just manually did, which was filter for male under the column E, which is gender, and then filter for uh, US by country code and then create two different sheets right over here. So here we go. And it is done. So first thing first, it created the sheet. Uh, let me just make this freeze row here. So it created the sheet for only people who are living in US and also labeled a call country. Then also it created the, uh, let me just format it here, another sheet called gender and it's only for mail. So literally less than, I think it was less than two seconds. And that is that. So let me show you how you can apply this into your Excel project, which is going to save you a boatload of time. So first thing first, if you don't have this developers tab, how you enable that is by going to file and then options. And then from here, you wanna to go to customize ribbon and make sure you click this checkbox here. It is on, because if it's not, so let me just show you. If I take this off, the developer, developer tab goes away. So if I want it back, go to option, and then custom ribbon, ribbon, and then click this, and that's it, and it comes back. And then from here, uh, another thing what you want to do is before we go any further, you want to save your Excel file as a Excel macro enable workbook, not regular Excel. Because when you save your visual basic code, which what I'm going to show you, it's not going to work with regular Excel. It will work, but when you save it, it's gonna give you an error message and then you won't be able to do it. So save it here, just save, yes, and that's that. So once you're there, go to developer, go to Visual Basic, and this is where the magic happens. So there are two functions that are created. And uh, the first one is just create sheet, which is something that gets triggered. Uh, where did it go? Here we go. <clears throat> it gets triggered when I click over here. And this something you can literally just go over here you can create this shape any way you want. So you go to shapes, you can call it, I don't know, a triangle for that matter. So call this here, you wanna type something, click on it, and call it uh, code 
with mark or whatever you want to call it right and then you could assign it right click assign a macro so in this case i just assigned it to this particular macro and that's that and then it becomes a button you click on it do it that so that's that and then every time when it gets triggered when you click on it, it's going to call this. And from here, the very first function, what it does is a code is going to create your sheet. It's literally this line of code. You can literally create any sheet you want, so on and so forth. And then also keep in mind, there is a room for improvement for this code. So what happens is first time when you click the button to create the sheets, it assumes those sheets do not exist. If they do exist at the moment of this particular recording, which I did not include it here because I want you guys to comment below, how would you solve that particular problem, which it would be, if it does exist, what can you do to validate that name exists? If it exists, don't fire up this particular course. But once you create it, you have the name of the sheet, you can literally just comment this out by clicking on the apostrophe S. And that's that. And this will be gone. And then we have one function called data, and I'm passing in a parameter called gender and country. And then from there, I'll just make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. And don't worry, I will leave a link in the description for you. So that way you can copy and paste it into your project, make your life a whole lot easier. And also if you like this kind of video and if you have watched any of my video and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing because I create a lot of helpful video to help you get to your next level in terms of web development or other computer related stuff, but mostly it's web development. So. <clears throat> that's that and then this block code is literally you could just copy and paste it because what it does is this is a visual basic code that enables my sql uh, statement within the, your excel which i'm going to show you so the next step is if you know a little bit about excel then you will know like this is exactly what it is so this is your worksheet and then the sheet name is like what I said I'm passing in here is coming here so that's a parameter so let's just say we are using sheet name as a country so I pass the sheet name in here it goes in here and check to see if it already exists uh, if it has actually not that it exists but it gets all of the rows that it particular that particular sheet has and then it clears all of the column from A2 to H, the total number of rows that it has. And the reason being is because, uh, let's say if I want to change the criteria to say, hey, for country code, I want to look up all of the Canada for that matter, right? So in this case, it will be CA, only show me CA. And then you may have other records that you want to first come in here and clear all this up so that way you don't have any old record that exists so my suggestion is clear all this up and start fresh and that's exactly what this particular line of code does it clears up all of your old data and that's that and then next what it does is it goes in here and check to see in the data file how many total rows there are and then from there, this is where the MySQL magic is going to happen. And then if you ever written your SQL statement, it is very straightforward. And this is a very simple one. Just keep in mind then because you could go really crazy with this and it, it's going to blow your mind it's like, whoa, holy cow. So here we go. So the very first one, uh, this statement is uh, select all from which is the data tab in this case it will be this tab this right here so select all of the columns and all the rows below and and this is remember what i said you're going to get the total number of rows that has data and you're going to go from a1 to h whatever the last row number is where and now you can use column names, which will be the top one. Uh, 
country code is equal to U.S. Because if you are putting a country, if it's gender, then it's going to be gender equal male. I'm just putting male in there, obviously, right? But for your project, you could do other things as well. So this is your SQL statement. And then after that, if you want to run this statement, all you really do is just connection, execute SQL, and then puts it into this. And then next process, what it does is it goes to your uh, data tab, which is this, it grabs the first row, literally as a header and copies it and puts it into the name of the sheet that you created. In this case, it will be your uh, country code. And then it just goes through a loop, which is the do loop, do until end of the file. So it's gonna go in there and then it's gonna go through a process, which I wanna show you. I did an automatic way because I know how many, how many number of row or columns there are. So in this case, you got one column A, column B, column two, three, four, five, six, seven. So starting from zero all the way up here, so a total of eight columns. And instead of me writing <clears throat> this line of code in which I can specify the row number, which is this, and then the column number, and then whatever value that I wanna associate it with it. So in this case, the result, the results is uh, this right here, whatever the my SQL statement, which is right here, all the rows that it has, it's gonna loop through it. So I know I have eight columns, I just used the four. So I started from zero up until seven, and then kind of did a little slick little way. I, I called it a, a count record variable right here. And it says starts with one. And then I'm adding a one to it because I wanted to have the, I wanted to go from the second row instead of the first row because the first row is the header. So I'm going to go with one. It's going to start with second row, third rows, so on and so forth. And then, then it's going to go to the column A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. And then it's going to have the value, which will be the, uh, the values in here. And that's what it's going to do. However, if you want to do it manually, like I put in here, insert data for ID. So in this case, this is the example for ID, which will be cell, and then you have row number which will be second row column number which is ida this will be where it's gonna grab it from and then it's gonna put it into this so that's that and then it just goes through the whole process looping 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 and then when it's done it creates this particular thing and it's powerful and uh, what I'll do is I'll delete this and I'll delete it again so both of them are gone and now this is the blank sheet it only has one sheet if I click on this button it's gonna give me a little error message all right so the reason why I was causing the error message is because I commented that this, these things out and I was Clicking on the button to generate it, but it couldn't find it. So if I click on right now, here it is. So you got gender, country, yada, yada, yada. Life is great. So there you go. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you think of this.